Well, it's a bit chilly, but if you keep moving, fantastic weather this, November to February, you can get an awful lot done. But I tell you what, if you're a gardener, you're an optimist. You're an optimist, you're thinking to the future. You're thinking to bowls of raspberries, cherries, gooseberries, oh, all the fruit you can imagine. So let's go and plant a few berries. Logan berries, tea berries. Oh, there's so many. Now we're planting soft fruit and you might wonder what these are. They're cranberries. Now if you've never thought of planting cranberries because they really are nice, why not have a go? Two of these in a, a trough like this will look absolutely lovely. This is how they come. And if the weather's really foul, if it's in your area, it's still freezing. Just leave them like this outside, they'll be perfectly safe, they're perfectly all right. The minute you start to unpackage them, get them in. Keep them in some water for a couple of hours, give them a really good soaking, and then all you've got to do is plant them. Now, just on the compost, they like the acid side on the pH level, so a good ericaceous compost is what they need, and that will give them a good two or three years start. You won't have to do anything to these. They have pretty little flowers on. They'll trail over here quite nicely. You'll get nice flowers, and then you get these lovely cranberries coming on, and they're juicy, they're beautiful. If you've got a cook in your house that knows how to use these muffins with cranberries in, oh, I tell you what, they're really good. Look at that roof structure. Oh, they are beautiful. Nine centimetre pot, you really can't go wrong. And it's as simple and as easy as that. They'll just spread, Everything that that plant needs now is in there. If it gets a, a bit straggly, just trim it back. It'll be perfectly all right. Lovely flowers, lovely patio plant. Cranberries, something you might not have tried, but you really ought to. Well worth a go.